searching involves trying to negate a grab. And traditionally, this is shown as someone grabs you. And that kind of grab, you kind of know, doesn't really happen in grappling so much. It, it, not literally, I mean, people will grab things. They will grab any part of the body. What do people usually do when they grapple? Well, if we're looking for an entry, I might grapple there, and I've got a nice strong grip, and that allows me to then, you know, quick, well, sometimes enough, and he will try and do the same. So he's going to grab me there. And now he's got me, and I've, I've pretty much lost my chance to, I have to grapple now. You'll see it frequently in Tai Chi. So, if we look at this movement, there we get some idea. He's reaching to grab me. I'm going to grab there. Oh, he grabs the wheel. Yeah. Boom. Once I've got that lock, I'm going to go for the arm. Whatever. I'm going to deflect on the, the Goldilocks zone of the forearm. As he reaches, you can see it pulls back a little bit because that's what I want. You can see what happens to the shoulder. All right. Now when the shoulder is raised, it's easily manipulated. Okay, so I, I have him in a lock. The, what I want is I don't want to be there. This feels kind of strong, but you've seen that that's easily broken out of. But this is actually where I want to be. And this, as Matt will tell you, even with uh, strength disparity, uh, it's a fairly strong lock for me. Hard to get into, but that's the, so, but this has so many obvious problems. A temporary lock. I have to be very fast, and this arm is going to be pushing up. So his counter is obviously going to be addressed at this arm. All he wants to do is push it down and towards me. And now he's created the weakness. Okay. So that's the problem with this. That's why I prefer to be here and not here. And he's going to push it down. Now the moment he's got it past the elbow on that side, I've lost. So that's again the same principle. Those I prefer. One, two, three, four, yeah. You can practice up to there. Yeah. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Right. Here's your count. Beautiful. Through the middle, and then it adds to the fourth, fourth point lock. But if you go over the top, it breaks it. I'm going for the there, I break out, I apply figure four. Now, here is nice and strong, and because it's nice and strong here, I'm also more or less facing his shoulders. That lets him lower that shoulder, lets him drop that arm. If he doesn't lower that shoulder, as uh, we just had Zin demonstrating. If he doesn't lower that shoulder and he tries to push that, he's working against my figure four, my whole body is locking. You can see it's enough, even, even the weight disparity in height and everything, strength disparity, allows me to keep the lock and tear that joint. But if he controls the source, then he drops, takes that power away. That gives him more than enough because he's now got the distance and I'm, I'm left with only my power of my wrists holding his wrist and he's able to sink it close to his body and he's actually just, if we just pause at that point, you have the, the literal form. Okay. So, uh, but what happens if I turn? So here, I can turn to avoid that. But you notice, the more I turn, the weaker I get. Because I need to be a powerful uh, uh, figure four, I need to be on top of him, yeah? hip to hip. But if I turn, he just breaks out anyway. So you, it's a win-win. 
He either turns to avoid your shoulder, to push shoulder, in which case he's taking shoulder away, or he turns the shoulder in, which case you push it down. So either way, because he might not be attacking my shoulder, he might be attacking my throat, and that's why I would turn, truth be told. I'm going for the grapple, he's a, okay, I've counter grappled, and I see the strike to the throat. I'm going to go, no way, because he's going to punch me again. No, I'm going to turn it. That's when he just simply tears it up. Okay. Very easy escape. So they're alternating. One side's getting a figure four, one's doing the breakout. One side's getting a figure four, one's doing a breakout. Figure four, breakout. Figure four, breakout. So you can keep practicing this as a drill.